I'm going to explain oxidation of alcohols in this video. I'm going to separate oxidation of alcohol for primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, and tertiary alcohol, and see what are their differences. This is a primary alcohol. If we oxidize primary alcohol, with any oxidizing agent. These two hydrogen, they're separating from this molecule. So this molecule losing hydrogen and oxidize to this structure. Because this oxygen and carbon, they lost hydrogen, they need to have another bond together. So the single bond will convert to the double bond. And we also have one hydrogen here. So this alcohol is primary because this carbon that attach to the OH, it's primary too. And our product here is aldehyde. However, aldehyde is not a very stable compound. It can easily oxidize and convert to the carboxylic acid functional group. So depending to the oxidizing agent, we may have aldehyde as a product or we may have carboxylic acid. If we have secondary alcohol, like this example. Then oxidation of secondary alcohol, it only produces one product. Single bond CO convert to the double bond. So we have a ketone as a product. Again, these two hydrogen will eliminate from our structure. So this alcohol was secondary because this carbon was secondary carbon. But for tertiary alcohol, there is not any hydrogen on this carbon. So oxidation of tertiary alcohol, it won't happen. So we have no reaction. So I'm going to explain uh, some common and famous oxidizing agent for oxidation of alcohol, but there are uh, too many reagents. Actually, we cannot explain all of them in this video. CrO3 dichromate anion, it can be either sodium dichromate or potassium dichromate or chromate anion. All of these three, they're using under acidic condition and they convert to chromic acid. So using any of these, it gives us the same result. The other reagent, we can use potassium permanganate. We may use PCC. I explain later in this video what is it and we may also use DMP. I'm going to start with secondary alcohol. When we have a reaction of secondary alcohol with any of these oxidizing agents, our answer is always same. All we should do is converting of this single bond with oxygen to double bond. So the product will be a ketone. So let's say we are going to use chromium oxide here. Or let's say we would like to use potassium permanganate. Then we will have same product. Here is another example. Reaction of secondary alcohol with DMP. Then we have a ketone. Here is another reaction with PCC. And then we have C double bond O4 alcohol functional group and it convert to the ketone when we have primary alcohol this is the structure of our alcohol we should have a ch2oh if we use chromium 6 oxide or if we use sodium chromate or if we use potassium permanganate we always have carboxylic acid as a product so the whole CH2OH convert to the carboxylic acid functional group. But if we use PCC, PCC is a mild oxidizing agent, and this is the structure for PCC. Its name is pyridinium chlorochromate, or we say PCC. PCC is mild, and it can only oxidize the primary alcohol to aldehyde. Normally, the solvent for PCC is dichloromethane. 
In addition of PCC, if we use DMP, we will have the same result. This is a structure of DMP. Its name is desmartin periodinate, or its abbreviation is DMP. Either DMP or PCC, it only oxidizes primary alcohol to aldehyde, and it won't move to the carboxylic acid. Let's have some example for oxidation of primary alcohol. Here is the first example. You would like to know what is the product for oxidation of this alcohol. Our oxidizing reagent, it's not PCC or DMP. So CH2OH should convert to the carboxylic acid functional group. So this is our product. Here is another example. Again, we have CRO3. CRO3, it oxidizes primary alcohol to carboxylic acid functional group. So we should repeat everything and just convert CH2OH to carboxylic acid. Here is another example. If you oxidize this alcohol with PCC in dichloromethane, PCC oxidizes primary alcohol to aldehyde. So we write everything, then CH2 convert to the aldehyde functional group. Here is another example. We use DMP. Same thing for DMP. We need to convert CH2OH to aldehyde functional group. Here are some more examples. The first example, this carbon, it is a secondary carbon because it's attached to carbon. So our alcohol is secondary and it's oxidized by DMP. So all we should do is repeating the whole structure and instead of single bond oxygen, we should put double bond oxygen. The second example, we have a primary alcohol. This carbon is primary. And because we don't have DMP or PCC, the product should be carboxylic acid. So again, we write the whole structure and then we convert CH2OH to carboxylic acid functional group. For third example, this alcohol, it's tertiary. When we have tertiary alcohol, we don't have any oxidation. So the answer is no reaction. Thank you for watching this video. You may want to subscribe to this channel to watching more videos.